You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Happening today, former President Donald Trump will be in Atlanta to raise some money. 11 Alive's Ariana Manise joining us live with more. Ariana, today, more proof Georgia's key in the 2024 race. What's ahead for the day? That's right. Good morning. I'm live at Hartsville Jackson International Airport where former President Donald Trump will land here ahead of his fundraising luncheon. There is a lot riding on this trip here to Georgia as he's expecting and hoping to cash in big from top donors here within the state. Now this fundraising luncheon will be hosted by former Georgia Senators David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler. Now we spoke to a Republican a political analyst who says that these fundraising events are critical as both Republican and Democrats are racing to bring in much cash, as much cash as possible as a campaign for the White House. Trump's event in Atlanta follows a recent $50 million fundraising event in Florida. And for uh, Democrats, two weeks ago, we saw Democrats, they hosted an event for, for President Biden where he raised $25 million. Analysts predict much of the money will be spent on getting people out to vote in battleground states. Now, ahead of this event, we saw a social media post um, advertising this event. And just for a ticket, $6,600 per couple. And for a photo op with the former President Trump, it'll set you back $25,000. Reporting live from Hartsville, Jackson, I'm Ariana Mays for 11 Alive. Back to you. Ariana, thank you. Keeping you in the loop with all things happening today in Riverdale. There's going to be a special meeting in Riverdale with the mayor and the city council talking about merging the fire and emergency services with the county. 11 Alive's Christy Diaz joining us from City Hall with the preview of that meeting, Christy. Good morning, Aisha. And that meeting will take place right here at City Hall on Church Street. I just walked over and they have the public notice about that meeting posted right by the front door. Tonight's meeting would make day three of discussions about consolidating the fire and emergency services between Riverdale City and Clayton County. Now, last night's meeting with the Clayton County Board of Commissioners answered a lot of people's questions like, no, consolidation would not impact EMS response times negatively. And yes, all firefighters in good standing would still have a job and be hired by the county. But the city of Riverdale is the one initiating this possible consolidation. So there, the mayor and the council are opening up an opportunity to answer more questions tonight. And the public, of course, is invited to attend. It is only a discussion, no vote scheduled tonight. The meeting begins at 530 again right here at the City Hall on Church Street in Riverdale. Reporting live, I'm Christy Diaz, 11 Alive News. Christy, thank you. And that was a look at your top headline. Chesley, pretty warm start to our morning. Yeah, temperatures are in the 60s and the 50s out there, but we'll be warming up even more as we head through the afternoon. A little light rain up here to the far north. So we're going to find some raindrops. We had a few areas of drizzle in the city. I think that has begun to subside. We'll get some breaks in those clouds as well. I think a little bit of sunshine will be poking through as we head into the afternoon. Until then... We have to deal with the clouds and a little bit of fog out there as well. Temperatures are running in the 50s, even some 60s around. Marietta at 60 degrees, Atlanta the same, 61 degrees down in Peachtree City, LaGrange and over toward Thomason. Those are our warm spots this morning. Everywhere else, you're starting off in the 50s. A light jacket will do you for today. Again, with that mix of sun and clouds, I think temperatures will get up to about 77 degrees. It really depends on how much sunshine we receive through those clouds as we head through the afternoon. Winds will remain light, at least for this morning, and then they'll start to pick up as we head into the afternoon. We'll become a bit breezy out of a head of a front that's going to make its way Toward us. This rain that you see is ahead of the front that's uh, stalled right now. You can see where we have a red box there over Louisiana, which is a, a tornado watch, and they also have a severe thunderstorm watch as well back toward the Texas area, eastern Texas. All that making its way toward us where we could see some severe weather later on tonight. The rain won't arrive here until after 6 or 7 o'clock. Those thunderstorms will be with us through the overnight going into Thursday morning. So it's something I would watch out for and make sure that we're weather aware and ready for any storms that happen to hit our area. You can see the level four threat that red area there from Jackson Mississippi down almost into New Orleans there that's four out of a possible five or what we call a moderate risk for severe weather long track tornadoes certainly possible down here for us we have that level one threat which is a marginal risk for severe weather one out of a possible five which means isolated strong to severe thunderstorms are certainly possible level two threat a sliver of it for our westernmost counties that extends down into the southeast notice that level one threat continues for tomorrow as well so our storms will be here tonight through the overnight 
into tomorrow morning where things begin to taper off after that. High threat for that heavy rain around, which can lead to some flash flooding. Moderate risk for the damaging winds. We can see some winds in those thunderstorms. Even I think outside of the thunderstorms, it will be a bit gusty out there, so be advised. Low threat for tornadoes and hail in our area. It's not ruled out, but certainly a low threat for it. Forecast track model shows the clouds around for this morning, but by the time we get to mid morning into early afternoon, they begin to mix out a little bit, so it gets a little sunshine in here before more of those clouds move back in. After 6, 7 o'clock is when that heavy rain starts to push in. We'll move through our area uh, late tonight going into tomorrow morning. Again, a few thunderstorms around these uh, heavy showers that will push in. Becomes a little bit more scattered once we get to Thursday, and guess what? We're going to hold on to the scattered precipitation all day long for Thursday. It won't be until Friday that the drier air begins to work in. We'll get the sunshine back in. A little bit cooler behind the front, a bit windy as well on Friday, but I'm going to go ahead and make it my pick for the week because it will be the sunniest, of course, the driest, but it will be the coolest as well at 68 for your high temperature. We'll rebound as we head through the weekend with the sunshine sticking around up to 80 by Sunday. We'll hold on to it for the beginning of next week. I am Liza Lucas, and for the first time, the Environmental Protection Agency will impose national limits on forever chemicals in drinking water, and Georgia is going to get millions of dollars as a result. Now, the substances known as PFAS are nicknamed forever chemicals because they barely degrade and are nearly impossible to destroy, meaning that they can linger permanently in air, water, and soil. The EPA's new standards will require utilities to reduce certain forever chemicals to the lowest levels they can be reliably measured, and officials say this will reduce exposure for 100 million people and help prevent thousands of illnesses, including certain types of cancers. Now, advocates praise the move, but utility groups warn the new standards could cost tens of billions and smaller communities may be impacted with fewer resources. Now, legal challenges may follow, and as of today, public water systems that do not monitor these forever chemicals, they have three years to start doing so. The Biden administration announcing $1 billion to help states through that process. Georgia will get $25 million. Aisha. Thank you, Liza. Staying on top of several other top headlines for you right now, a man is in critical condition after being shot several times outside appliances for less in Buckhead. That suspect took off from the scene and was spotted in Clayton County. He led police on a chase ending along Jonesboro Road near Constitution Road. And Georgia State Patrol tells us as troopers in Atlanta police approached that suspect's wrecked vehicle, he shot himself. His identity has not been released, but we do know he was 28 years old and the GBI is now investigating. Some new developments out of Gwinnett County in the crash outside the Mall of Georgia parking lot that killed four-year-old Abby Hernandez. So at first, police said they would not pursue charges. But now, the county's DA says that the office will bring misdemeanor charges against the 18-year-old driver. It is still not clear which charges will be filed and what evidence led up to this new decision. Staying in Gwinnett County now, police need your help identifying this man. He is wanted for this road rage shooting back on March 18th. Look at this. He is laying out in the middle of the road. Investigators say that man in these photos fired at another driver several times and thankfully no one was hurt. Those flock cameras capture these photos showing that man moments after he jumped out of a moving car and took off running. If you recognize him or know anything about what happened there, please call police. Well, those pictures are wild. This morning, investigators are asking for some help with a disturbing case where a man's accused of kidnapping and sexually assaulting his Lyft driver. Right now, DeMar Marcus Johnson is behind bars. Police say he drugged his Lyft driver, then stole her car, kidnapped and raped her. It happened in Alpharetta in March. Although Johnson is in custody this morning, police are still looking for more information about him and the case. Please call Alpharetta Police if you can help. Let's give you a live look at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport on another cloudy morning, but the sky is lighting up a little bit. A possible weather event is at the center of a plane inspection happening this morning. A Delta flight declared an emergency during its landing in Atlanta on Tuesday. The flight was coming in from New York. Airport officials say the landing was done out of abundance of caution after a suspected lightning strike. Delta says planes will need to be inspected to confirm the lightning strike in a separate development on the same plane. Delta said there was an unrelated medical emergency. Chesley, some clouds over the airport. 
Uh, yeah, cloudy skies right now, but we're expecting some breaks by the time we get to the afternoon. We'll call it a mix of sun and clouds. 68 will be our temperature by noon on our way to about 77 for an afternoon high. That really depends on how many breaks we get in those clouds and how much sunshine we actually see. Our winds will start to pick up this afternoon. Still dry uh, around 6 o'clock. I think that's when we'll get the onset of some of that rain that's going to start to push into the area. A couple thunderstorms could be around. Some of those could be strong to severe. We'll be looking for isolated strong severe thunderstorms uh, after about 8, 9 o'clock tonight. We'll linger into Thursday morning morning and then we'll clear it out Friday, get the sunshine back in, but only 68 for the high and rebound nicely as we head through the upcoming weekend. Don't come in and say hey to everybody, okay? Okay. Uh, oh, oh he's so sweet. <laughs> I love him. I love his videos on TikTok. He's like a little Target greeter. So it might be Target Circle Week, but right now this lovely little one is stealing the spotlight known as the TikTok Target Toddler. Azai has gone viral with several of his mom's videos for going up to everyone, randomly just saying hi when he goes to Target. <laughs> and get this, he's only one. Oh, oh. what a sweet little sucker suit. Little baby sucker. Suit. Little little baby sucker. Yes, yeah. good Taylor. Nice. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody.